What do you got? That's how you start the video. Like, what? That's how you start the video. I mean, licked by this one, and this one, like, so honorary that he doesn't want to do a video. I'm not honorary. Uh, hi, guys. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Bucky. Hi, Chloe. What'd you get? You don't even have your knife, do you? No, I gotta keep it. We, we can restart. No, it's fine. We're not gonna restart here. We like being awkward and cringe. Is that what Talmadge calls us? Cringe? Huh? Huh, pups? All right, another unboxing today since I guess you guys enjoy these things. We should like talk about some topics while we do this. Uh, okay. Buttons, what's up? You need just love? played in the snow for an hour while I shoveled everything and like, they're still hyper. Yeah, we need to go sledding, huh? In this. Should we go, Chloe? You want to go? How bad would she be sledding? Oh would my she gosh, just, like, she would grab it. She, yeah, she'd probably just tackle everyone yeah. with sleds. You'd be annoying. You'd be super annoying. How would Hi, you buttons. go? Would you, you, would you so sled? Pretty... He would probably you would. With us? Buttons is pretty good. And he probably gets scared because people are screaming. And I know. He probably would. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Shush. Okay, enough. Okay. What do you got Chloe. today? So, uh, I guess a lot's going on here. I get. Uh, I heard from distributors that they're having a meeting, an emergency meeting with Wiz is the Coast to talk about the future oh. of, of you know product releases. Guest distributors are sitting buried. Buried, buried, Oops. buried. Uh, there are lots of stores now that are really scaling back on Magic, saying they're going to skip sets. I've noticed a lot of things that used to only go to premium stores start to uh, end up here at non-premium stores. Spoiler alert, Warhammer got another reprint. Knew it would. So Warhammer will be available. I'm getting 12 of them. I'm not sure. Premium be, or regular? No, regulars. So I'll be fulfilling back orders first, and then whatever's left, I'm not sure exactly, are more expensive this time, because that's exactly what wizards and distributors do when a product actually does sell, is they jack up the price to make sure that there's no way for me ever to make profit on anything. Because yeah. the product that doesn't sell, they blow out on Amazon yeah. for nothing, and the product that does sell, then they jack it up, so my margins go back down to nothing as well. So Wizards of Coast just absolutely does not want us to succeed. I don't know what they're thinking. I think they've, they've definitely killed their strategic partners. I think that Magic the Gathering fails without local game stores. I think Arena is a very small niche community. Same thing with MTGO. It never, never was able to get off the ground like they wanted to. They have been just salivating about becoming the next Hearthstone. Like, and yeah. the Hearthstone didn't Isn't last it dead? Long. Yeah, it didn't last the test of time. There have been a couple of games like... Uh, I, I believe there was more players on uh, Auto Chess than there was on than MGO ever had. Like there have been a lot of these card game I bet draft they're... games that have be become way more successful than um, Magic Online or Arena yeah. ever has, and they've always they've just always been fad. So if Wizards of Coast wanted a fad game, then more power to them. Go create your dumb little fad game. Arena's already dying in in viewership of people watching uh, streams as well as uh, people playing the game. That has peaked a long time ago. That peaked like years ago in fact they didn't have that pandemic rush they thought they were going to have with people being uh, bored at home so Wizards of the coast really needs to reevaluate re exactly what their game is who their audience is and how to make it last another 30 years not just become this you know pump and dump fad that they've they've really got into and i know i, I get strike boxes. when iron's hot i really do get yep. strike when the iron's hot but there's there's that that tightrope you have to walk between you know, making those good profits right now uh, versus being able to make profits in the future. Every business has to do that. And they really, I hope this meeting goes well. There will be some unprecedented sales. I'm expecting the start of the year. I'm actually expecting probably after tax return season. I'm so late fall, early summer, I think that the market is really gonna crash. That'll be the time to match the gathering collectibles. I mean, the chickens will come home to roost. All the bad decisions are really, really, because we got the Christmas money that's pumping things up. Then we'll have the tax return money that's pumping things up. After that, I think I think we're going to be see a reduction in stores, especially stores that are yeah. more like the, the risk aversion towards you know losing Magic as their 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 breadwinner is going to be really really rough. I'm actually a little bit uh, scared about my business. I know that I've lost a ton of patrons and a lot of purchases. Uh, people that have been with me a long time. I think Magic 30 was their final straw. And just the over, I've, a lot of people are not ordering what, what they used to. We used to get like every pre release had some massive orders. And this, I mean, the writing's just on the wall for it. So, hope everyone likes that. That's for discussion. If people actually want to see stuff rather than me rant about business, no one cares about business, right? All you Zoomers just want to play. Go get play, your play, knife play. back there. Play, 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 Zoomers. 
I am turning into my dad. Yeah. Everyone does. You always turn into what you fear or not. You, you don't want to turn into. Get off my lawn. You're not turning into your dad. Your dad doesn't ramble. That's true. <laughs> Talking turn into your mom, if anything. Turn into my mom. Turning That's into for Chloe. Sure. She's the honorary one. Chloe. So, what we got in today? Hi, so, Chloe. I think people like to see kind of random stuff here. So, we got in some binders, some Dex zip Yay, binders. I can for these make four binders. pocket ones. Well, these ones are already sold. I so. know. Well, for well, who they're sold did for. Did Roker actually want something on them? Yeah. Did well, you? yes and no. I need to measure it. He's oh. going to do the cool His black branding. Ones right there. So, there's That's a racist. So, well, these are actually. Oh, they old changed one, new the one. packaging. Yep. So, I like that new packaging. This looks so trashy. This look, I don't know. It's plastic uh, that's around a profit. It doesn't product. matter. You gotta oh look. <sighs> so, what else? Like, oh, I. Yeah, I guess they did change. These look brighter than the other ones. Do you have another red one? Let me compare I it. No it almost idea. looks like they've changed the color scheme a little bit. Nope. No. That looks like the same. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. They just changed the, the packaging on these suckers. So. Kevin's really close. Guess Sorry, these, uh, guys. Yes, these things will, are back in stock. I try to keep Dex binders because we do. This is the binder I sell the most of is Dex. People seem to like Dex the most. I don't get why you pop. like these darn ones. They're too big to yeah. fit anything. Yeah, I don't like them either. They can't fit in the back. Most there. people don't like them either. Uh, that by here. They like the smaller ones. So this board game has been selling like crazy here. I've never played it. Uh, people keep telling me that I'll enjoy it, so maybe this week I'll uh, I'll play some Cascadia. Haven't ever played it again. Yeah, this is one of the services that I want to really, really beat home. It sets me apart from uh, uh, other people doing what I do. Is you you do have access enough to things just not Magic or Pokemon. You can get anything. You basically, if you you sign up with us, you have access to be your own local game store. Well, not your own. You know what I'm saying. You have access just like if you owned one. So. Highly, highly recommend you check out other product catalogs and things that you can get. Because there's some crazy stuff that I don't even delve in that uh, you can get. I had some weird orders from people. I'm like, wow, this actually exists? Okay, I'll grab it. So, how are the D&D &D players, too? Are D&D starting to um, experience the same sort of, like, product overload? Because I've just noticed so much product. Well, the, the, used to, like, one a year. Yeah. I mean, it was very, very... Uh, you get like a couple books, or at least like, or maybe like four a year. Well, well, here's the funny thing too, especially everybody in this area, they majority make their own worlds. They don't buy they the sell books. sell a ton of books. We're the regular books. books. Yeah, not, we sell campaigns. We sold one yesterday. Not a campaign. Yeah, I did. I sold Strixhaven yesterday. They bought Strixhaven? Yes, bought Strixhaven. Really? I mean, wow. I a lot of people that like that, sort of. Okay, well, those guys usually make their own. They if like I all of them. I played D&D, I'd require it. There's no way oh, I'd I play D&D with someone's sandbox. There's no way. Very fun game. If you like rule and rights, this is like the Yahtzee with actual strategy. Kevin like, sat in the back and played with himself for I, like a week I, with I tried that to game. break this. Yeah, I tried to break. Not this one. It was the second. Uh, oh. The twice as clever. I tried to like find the most. Go get Bruce. That's kind of how my mind works. And that's why I like um, Step it on magic. Twice. Because Go. magic is all Go, about guys. efficiency. It's all about doing things properly. It's, my mind is kind of What? I'm getting attacked. What do you want? You need loves? Come on, it's fine. We're recording uh. video buttons. Jeez. Fantasy Realms, another fun little game. This is a quick little fun fast game. Um, and this is going to be tons of dice. So that's also things I want to remind you. Oh, they put players. it in their own bo what box? Buttons. Uh, what are you doing? I want to remind all you D&D players and Magic players too that this is available too. And Chessex is really good. Chessex is probably your go-to brand. I like them. it better than like Oak. Their Oak little Oak. containers are awesome. They they just work so well for, yeah. for stuff and whatnot. So, um, oh, there's other crap in here too. So. Holy cow, you got some dice. So we got <laughs> these finally came in. These are uh, little Ultra Pro Eclipse boxes. If people like these, okay. these are actually already sold though. So I'll put them over in our sold pile. Uh, so you should go party, fun little family game. This is like a bigger box than the last one. Maybe not. Yeah, You're probably thinking of the little one. No, no, That's no. The... I even remember. I thought Sushi Go. So this is this is kind of cool. Uh, what to call that? I just came in yesterday. I yeah. told him it wasn't even ordered because they. I mean, it wasn't even shipped because they didn't. Uh... I just got those ones. Did you? Well, maybe we should communicate. Maybe well, we maybe. should actually like talk actually, to each other. Actually, I think it's the D7 set. <laughs> those are actually kind of cool. So, yeah, yeah. So Chessic dice. These are really good. They come in the the sets too. You can always get. 
I need more room. Oh, this is hiding back. Oh, <laughs> this is Jacoby's. His, I ordered this like a year ago. Yeah, this is during the lockdowns. This is over oh, a year wow. ago. Because he got the rest of it. He just didn't get the DM screen. Oh, that's, that's funny. Welcome cool. to my life with this trailer. It's not going to show you the other box. I think we've seen enough with it. Um, but yeah, yeah paints, it's about the same. deck boxes. Uh, yeah, kind of kind of neat. The kind of stuff you can you can get. If you ever don't want me to send you a catalog, gosh, we should start always, sending everybody a catalog. Like, every one of them send us like tons of them. Oh every one gosh, of those trailers. I don't get it. Just there. save on magazines. Have a this website. Is, well, I love how these ones say like, ooh, four bucks. So people oh, actually pay for these. And oh, wow. unfortunately, what's I, the point? Yeah. That's well, sad. you know, it's just advertisements in there. But Alrighty. anyway, we'd like to know what you guys would like to see. Otherwise, store stuff. I know this might just get boring looking to the back and look at my ugly market yeah. today. But I think yeah. it's kind of fun talking to everybody and keeping everyone involved in this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, first year, I do have some plans. We'll see how long I can get motivated for it. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get a video editor that works out and stuff and, and take some... Uh, some of the, the work off workload off yeah. Zach and I so we can focus on other stuff. So yeah. And if you want to see cool videos, go to TikTok under Gone Real oh, Games. Cool. So this is a bad video. Oh, I see how it is. A bad video. The cool I'm videos saying are on TikTok. Uh, I'm saying the fun dorky corny stuff. We're gonna burn cards today. Did we get it in? What? That's no. Oh I some people are like doing videos about how the TSA it's a burn hazard for cards because they're in PVC so I was going to take out some lands and some sleeves and go burn them why not it'd be fun okay. Kevin doesn't like actual experiments you do you me and Chloe will uh and if you want it. we'll test Dex boxes and throw them down the stairs see if they hold up oh boy why it's just lands send help YouTube send help 